Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm going to show you how to outline and write a research paper in Google Docs using heading styles. So keep watching if you want to know how to use the Google Docs outline function or you're interested in using Google Docs outline function to help you write a focused research paper, better organize your paper, make the writing editing process easier, or simply overcome word count overwhelm. Sound good? All right, here we go. So the basics first. Josh, what is a Google Doc outline? That is a great question. Top left-hand corner here, show document outline. I'm going to click on that. And you will see the outline for the script that I am that is unfolding in front of your eyes right now. Very meta. And so the indentations or the nesting of the words is based on the heading styles that are applied. And we're going to talk about those next. So right here, you see the word title. I can click anywhere in that word. I don't need to highlight the whole word. Come up here to styles and select title. And now it is a title. Header one, styles. Heading one, select. Header two, you get the point, right? And you see how it starts to build over here on the left-hand side. Josh, how do I make this easier? Great question. Control-Alt-3 or Command-Alt-3 applies header three, style. Header four, how do I do that? Control-Alt-4, I know you guessed it, good job. <laughs> All right, so that's how we apply the heading styles and then what they do with the outline on the left hand side. And normal, if you were curious, is control alt zero. So back to our outline here. These are the shortcuts that I just I just read to you or explained. I'll leave those here for your reference. And you can also update the styles and we will go over that shortly, but the instruction will the instructions will remain here for you to reference should you so choose. Josh, this is an outline so what? Great question. How does this outline help you to remain focused, right? Well, we need to agree that because the outline you've written for your paper eventually becomes your paper, right? Because the outline becomes the paper, a paper outline without headings becomes a paper without headings. Like a book without chapters, easy to get lost. Where did I leave off? writing that paper or lose focus. What was my point? A paper outline with headings will help you to keep your writing focused. It'll help you to organize your thoughts and therefore or thereby your paper and it helps you to write and edit the paper efficiently. Find your stadium seat. So imagine trying to find a stadium seat without without seat numbering. This is, this is kind of like that. It's gonna help us find exactly where we left off or focus exactly what we were talking about. It helps you to write in conquerable chunks to overcome word count overwhelm. Ever been asked to write a 3,500 word paper and just kind of freak out a little bit in your head? This will help with that. All right, show me how, Josh, and I would love to. So with the end in mind, I'm gonna pause here and I'm going to show you the differences. So here's your regular old research paper written with no headers, no styles applied, 6,000 words <laughs> all together. All right, so I'm going to ask a series of questions to highlight the value of this, this heading styles and outlining. So the first point of this paper is what? Hmm, I could definitely I could definitely I could definitely figure that out and let you know. I could definitely do that uh, with some time. Uh, organize. Okay, so the first point, if you can't tell me what it is, where is it? Where's the first point? Well, I could I could definitely if you gave me some time, I could I could tell you where it is if you just give me some time. Um, all right, so third question, where did you leave off editing this thing? You were you were working on this last night, draft number two, where'd you stop? Hmm. I couldn't tell you that. I could not answer that question for you. And finally, if you sat down to write this thing, what would be easier, 400 words or 6,000 words? Because what you're looking at right here is 6,000 words. All right, so let me show you how we can answer those questions much easier with the heading and the styles and the outline. Okay, so that first question was, sorry. That first question was, 
the first point is what? All right, so the first point is there are many benefits to using a research paper outline. Okay, not hard. All right, what was the what was the second what was the second question? First point is where? Well, first point's right there. That wasn't hard. And if we were editing this, where did we leave off? Well, if we knew that we were, I don't know, working on the counter argument, we could just go right there. Or if we were really, really thrifty, that's not the right word. If we, a nifty little way to leave future you a note is just to say left off here and then control alt one. Now on the left hand side, we know exactly where we left off on this paper. Okay, and I asked one more question. Uh, 6,000 words or 400, what is easier, right? So if we're looking at a paper that is chunked into segments and supporting point one of major point one just requires 400 words. So Josh, is it easier to write 400 words about this? Or is it easier to write 6,000 words about this? And I know that's an obvious question. Um, so when you break it down into bite-sized chunks, the writing becomes a lot easier. It doesn't write itself, but it becomes a, a lot easier. All right, so I'm trying to make my way back to my outline here with the end in mind. Wrong button. <laughs> the outline becomes the paper, okay? So let's talk about how that looks. I'm gonna move through the documents you see at the top of your screen there using the control plus tab shortcut. I just wanted to let you know what I was doing so in case you wanna do the same thing ever in the future. Uh, I remember the shortcut because to control the tab, I use control plus tab. And if you're a Mac user, I oh yeah, just control the tab. If you're a Mac user, it's command the tab, which is similar. Um, and if you, want to, if you want to move backwards, so left to right is forward and right to left is backwards, then control shift tab. The way I remember that is I am shifting the direction. Um, and I'll show you that right now as I go through the paper building process. All right, so if you were to pull any regular outline off the internet that tells you how to outline your paper, it's, it's probably gonna look kind of like this. These, they're all generally similar. Um, the point here is not to discuss what a paper outline, the components of a paper outline. Um, go get that elsewhere. I just wanna start with that so we can start from a common reference point. So looking here, you can see the introduction that contains the attention sentence, the thesis, the major supporting points of the thesis, um, and then as we move forward here, control tab, right? This, this uh, it develops, right? So measure point A, which is your first point, is gonna include supporting evidence, facts, statistics, analysis, right? And then you're gonna have a uh, measure point B, a measure point C, and you're gonna rinse and repeat with the evidence and the facts and the analysis. That's, that's how the paper outline is uh, written or developed. And then finally, you're gonna see conclusion. Okay, so I'm just, I'm starting with this common outline for a research paper, and we're gonna tweak it a little bit. We're gonna simplify it so that this outline that I'm proposing to you is a little easier to use, or makes, or makes a little better sense when you're using it. All right, so I've boiled these points down. Uh, and the Roman numerals, uh, it seems to be a theme when people build these. So we're gonna simplify all this, right? So here it is. Um, I would submit that often in academics, uh, you're required to do a counterargument and a rebuttal, so I've added those. Now I start to simplify it. So we just see thesis, argument one through three, counterargument, rebuttal, and conclusion. And these Roman numerals still make it confusing, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn those into regular numbers. And if we make thesis zero, then arguments one through three correspond with their preceding numerals. Counter argument is four, rebuttal five, conclusion six, so on and so forth. So there we go. This is our outline. Now we want to apply these heading styles so this works for us. So to do that, I'm just going to highlight all of these and then I'm going to control alt one. Whoa, uh, you may like your headings to, to be giant so they stick out. Y you may enjoy that. I don't, so I'm just going to go ahead and make these 
the same size font as the rest of my paper and the words in my paper. So there we go, they're, they're size 11. Uh, I like Roboto as a font, so I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna control B to bold them, all right? Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on the styles menu and you'll see here heading one, update heading one to match. So there we go, I've saved this as the heading style for heading one. Update heading style to match. All right, so I've done everything that I was trying to remind myself to do on this page. All right, control tab is gonna take us to the next spot here. All right, elements of a sentence outline, you can see over here on the left-hand side, now this is showing up in our outline because we applied the heading styles. All right, now we start to build out the sub points. So if you've got your first argument, you might have three supporting sub arguments or sub points, whatever you might wanna call those. When you apply the header two style to each of these sub points, it looks like this. And on the left hand side, you can see argument one with the supporting sub arguments two, three, four, five. And as we move along, we add our actual arguments. So we have our thesis, we have our arguments, and then we write our paper. Now, as we move through our paper, as I showed you before, these headers allow us to rapidly move throughout our paper if we need to rapidly move throughout our paper. Um, but it keeps us organized, it keeps us focused, and it's just the best way to write a paper. Um, that's about it. Let's see what's on our next slide here. Bonus slide, okay, so as you write your paper, let me go back one, control, shift, tab. So the most important point I think here is keeping yourself focused as you write. And so as you're writing this paragraph, your eyeballs can't help but keep reading what you're, what you're writing towards, what you're trying to explain. Um, so these bolded points as you write your, as you develop your argument, keep you, keep you on track. It is that true north that you can keep looking at as you write your paper. And certainly you can always pop up to your thesis. Does this, does point one support my thesis? Now certainly when you wrote your outline, hopefully it did. Um, but being able to quickly look back at, at the beginning point, and the developing points as you've moved along, and then of course the words you're writing in support of those, does it all flow? Is that golden thread rolling through it? Absolutely, so it keeps everything focused. All right, now the bonus stuff. So uh, tab will take us here. So if you have a research question, um, putting that at the top of your paper may be helpful. Uh, a brainstorm area, just a place to write stuff out, right? Um, and you can easily move away from it. Um, it's, it's as you've seen how the headers allow you to navigate very quickly. The last thing I'm gonna show you, so uh, I've just written it here, spare parts bin, and I've written kill your darlings. So as you're writing, you will find that you will have to edit and delete things because you've written too much, or perhaps the section is just too big and you need to cut some stuff. So yeah, you've written too much. It can be painful to delete that stuff. It can be painful, or when you're writing, and you've written something that doesn't quite go, you're like, well, but I, I don't wanna lose this. When that happens, you don't have to delete it. You don't have to throw it away. There is the spare parts bin. So just drop it down here and then move on. Uh, so cut it from your paper, paste it in here, and then just move back to whatever it was you were working on. And you know, hey, if I need that, it's there, but now you can move on and write on and write, continue writing with your paper without worrying about deleting that great sentence that you wrote earlier. All right, that's that's the gist. Uh, one last bonus page here. Uh, so this outline header style uh, technique is also really good for taking notes uh, on readings and in class. And I will create another video to explain how I did that here. All right, so back to our outline to close this out. Uh, I showed you how to do all these things. Keep your eye on true north. That was looking at that bolded point. What am I, what am I writing towards? And then making sure that the writing you write writes towards that point. That is your true north. Um, your argument or outline headers. Make sure what you're writing supports that. 
why should I do this, Josh? <laughs> that's, that's a great question. Um, because a paper outline with headings helps you write in bite-sized or conquerable chunks. Also helps you organize your paper or your thoughts or both. And it helps you to write and edit efficiently. You know, find that stadium seat. And finally, it helps you produce, produce clear and focused writing. Prove it. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if I can do that, but I can tell you that I have used this whole process uh, during my master's program here at the Naval War College. And it's worked, it's been very helpful. Um, I wrote over 25,000 words uh, in 300, 300 word chunks at a time. Uh, I get word count overwhelm and this helped me. Uh, my grades, so leave a comment uh, after June 16th, 2023, and I will let you know. <laughs> uh, this video is actually for a friend uh, just starting the Army War College. So Joe and anyone else watching, uh, I hope that any of these techniques that I've outlined here are as helpful to you as they were to me. Uh, if you would like some more, uh, this video brought a little bit of the know-how and probably more of the know-why than maybe you wanted. Uh, but check out my other videos to get more of both. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, share and remember uh, you can find ways to get at me in the uh, comments down below and if you leave questions as always I will leave answers thanks for watching have a great day